So this is our earth bag house that we constructed to make a, a moderately cool environment for storing all of our seeds and for our seed research. So come inside and have a look how it's built. You can see that we laid up layers of, of, uh, of uh, rice bags filled with just ordinary earth from around the building site and each bag was wired shut, laid down and tanked uh, hard in position and course after course produced. And so this is where we're storing all our seeds and we're recording the temperature and we've found that uh, the temperature uh, is much more constant inside this building than the ambient temperature outside. And um, it's also an ideal environment for a our germination chamber which uh, needs to be kept at a um, low 20s kind of temperature so that it can regulate the seed inside at about the optimum 30 degrees Celsius. We found that when we had this in a much uh, warmer office room that was not air conditioned and tended to heat up during the afternoon and then it was very hard for the, the box to then cool down and regulate its temperature. So we, if, if you're going to build one of these you really need uh, a room that stays moderately cool uh, day and night. It's much better. Okay, this is made out of a steel box readily available on the streets of Cambodia. And here we have glued in polystyrene, also available at shops. And we have cut slots in there to accommodate this shelving. Now this shelving is plastic coated wire that's used for display. Uh, displaying in Cambodia so it's pretty readily available and at the bottom here we have a 3 watt LED light and at the top we have a 1 watt LED light so this is providing plenty of light for all of our trays filling the shelving and we have a 20 watt fan here and it's actually the fan that produces most heat in here so the fan and 3 watt light bulb are controlled by this thermostat here and the thermostat switches on and off keeping the temperature at a pretty constant 30 degrees Celsius as we can see on the thermometer. Now the fan is situated so that it can blow air upwards to the top and that tends to circulate it around, providing a very constant temperature throughout the cabinet. And you also will see that we have um, some water in bottles to provide some thermal mass. That stops the thermostat from switching off and on so quickly. Um, and the open water allows humidification of the air in here. That stops our, our trays from drying out too much. And so you can see also out here we have a just cheap kind of timer device that's set to give the box uh, 16 hours of light and 8 hours of darkness. And here you can see some of the germ trays in the process of being counted after most of the seeds have been counted out. This is now day 6 and the last couple of seeds are germinating in that tray that started with 50. And that's how we are germinating and checking our seeds.